Hey everyone, uh, just going to take a quick look at the Doom vinyl collectible figures from Numskull here. Um, I received the Cacodemon and Arachnatron last week, and I was waiting on the Doom Slayer to get here before making a video because I wanted to compare it with the Gaming Heads figure. Uh, but Numskull has announced 12 out of the possible 31 figures that appear in games so far, whereas Game Gaming Heads has only announced the one figure. Um, but anyway, here's a quick look at the box. Um, I do think the pricing is a bit odd. Um, I got these through the Just Geek store where they're marked at $42 each. But they do offer a two for $75 deal. Um, but that still makes them, you know, that still puts them at $37.50, which is higher than the $30 figure from Gaming Heads, which I would argue is significantly better quality. Um, not saying that these are bad quality or anything. I'm actually pretty happy with them. Uh, I, it's just difficult to wrap my head around that price point. Uh, but even so, I jumped on these as I'd really like. I'd, I'd like to have a complete set, you know, of these figures. Uh, so fingers crossed that somebody, you know, actually finishes the whole lineup. Um, I, I did mention in my uh, in the review of the Gaming Heads figure that. You know, Bethesda has been also releasing miniature resin figures, um, which are also pricey and limited in quantity, and those are already being scalped on eBay for ridiculous prices, so um, pretty much no chance of getting a complete set of those. Um, so right now, Numskull is the best shot at hopefully, you know, them doing a complete lineup. But here's the Slayer next to the Gaming Heads figure. Um, you can see a clear difference. You know, the Gaming Heads is solid plastic. The Numskull is, is like a vinyl soft plastic. Um, I, I am a little disappointed that the scale couldn't have been matched. Um, I believe the 7 inch Gaming Heads figure is to scale with what's in the game. And the Numskull is just a little bit smaller. Um, they advertise it at 6.3 inches tall um, anyway I'll go over the look at the other figures here there's the imp um, similar limited articulation uh, the cacodemon doesn't have any articulation at all not even the eyeball moves um, as far as I can tell uh, but I definitely like the cacodemon and the arachnatron the best out of the set so far <clears throat> I've got another four figures on pre-order that I'm waiting for. Um, I don't think those ship until later this year. But yeah, the, the Arachnitron, Arachnitron is, is uh, really cool because, you know, this is the first Arachnitron, Arachnitron collectible figure that I've ever seen outside of, you know, the miniature, um, the miniature pewter figures. So really nice to have some demon collectibles, not just the Slayer. And uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, just wanted to give you a closer look at those, and you can decide for yourself if you want to get them or not. Again, the price point is, I in my opinion, it's too high. Hopefully, they complete the whole set, and uh, if if they do, you know, to me it'll be worth it. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching.